Hello YouTube, I want to do a quick upload because people have been asking me how I remove staples. Before I show how I remove staples from this Wiz Comic 57, the question is when and why are staples removed? So the general rule that I have is if a staple in a Golden Age book or any book hasn't been altered, meaning hasn't been removed in the past or manipulated in any way, and the cover is securely attached underneath the staple, I won't mess with it. I want to try to preserve the staple the way it is, and I don't want to trigger from CGC restoration with staple cleaning, staple removal, and things of that nature. But this book, I know the staple was removed because it looks like it was manipulated being bent like this. Generally speaking, the staple should be straight. This is a one staple book. So someone in the past took this staple out. Another reason why I know that the staple was removed is Whoever put it back in butchered putting the staple back in. And this is the centerfold of the book. There's a piece of tape on the reverse side of the centerfold. So that's a telltale sign because it would be difficult to put that piece of tape on the back of the centerfold without removing the staple. So I'm going to remove this staple. So one second, let me focus in on this so you can see it better. And then we'll take it from there. Okay. Rule number one. I always have a piece of tape ready. So when the staple is removed, I put it in the piece of tape. I also put a T on the top, so I put the top of the staple on the tape because I want to try to put the staple back in the way it came out, top on top, bottom on bottom. So have this ready. Also, I only use plastic tools when removing staples. The reason why I only use plastic tools is because I think CGC actually looks at the staples with a jeweler's loop or some type of magnification in order to see whether there is any abrasions or scuffs on the staple, which is a telltale sign. If you use metal against metal, scratches will occur. Same thing with car restoration. Whenever I try to remove bolts that I, I'm not going to refinish, I, I have a plastic or rubber lined inside of the sockets. There's special sockets to try to prevent destroying the actual bolt or, or marring the bolt. So when I remove a staple, what I wanna do is I wanna flatten the book as best as I can. Then what I wanna do is I use a finger or a plastic tool and I press very hard on the bottom end of the staple. By doing that, I'll be able to secure the staple and I won't damage the book. Then I slowly get in there and I pry it up. So right now, one side, I was able to pry up just like that very simple. Now I do the same by holding the top piece of the staple and sometimes you can actually use your fingertip nail but the plastic tools are fine and it's very simple. Bend it straight up. So that's simple. That's it. That's how you do it. Then I'll gently put the book around like that and then this staple should come right out. There you go, easy peasy.
Now this staple was manipulated. I'm gonna try to put this staple back into shape and we're gonna try to get that in and we're gonna put it on our tape so we know that's the top of the staple. We'll close it up, put it in a safe place because these tend to get lost if you don't. And that's it, YouTube. So a quick little video how I remove staples. And then let's take a look at this centerfold. And as you see, a piece of tape was placed on the back. So in no uncertain terms, this centerfold was removed during its life and there was staple manipulation. So if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And let's get the word out for that 400 subscriber giveaway because I, I wanna give those books away so we can start another one. Take care, YouTube, and thanks for watching.